Bit Bitcoin is pumping and I ain't got nothing. <laughs> Cause I'm short Bitcoin. I do have some Bitcoin, um, uh, but as a percentage of my portfolio, um, small. Let's say 8%, 9%, 10%. And then my crypto is about 30%. So it's one third of my crypto portfolio, but Jesus. Yeah, Bitcoin is almost at 4,000 and Bitcoin Cash is not acting like Bitcoin. It's going down. It's now at uh, 0 0.77, something like that, uh, Bitcoin per BCC. Um, altcoin is taking a hit again. The big question is, how will this bubble end? Will altcoins catch up with Bitcoin as always and, uh, and so go up in Bitcoin value for the last time before the market tumbles or will altcoins just say just not go up again versus Bitcoin and Bitcoin goes to a peak starts falling and altcoins continue to fall versus Bitcoin that's possible too I think um, since Bitcoin has always started uh, with um, the past two years there was always Bitcoin was the first to go up and find its low the first to find its low early 2015 at $160 going up to 200 staying steady and then taking half a year to go up to um, suddenly $300, $400 but it was the first to do so it was only after that that Ethereum uh, started to go up a lot and then later Monero and then later all the cryptocurrencies um, and, and we've seen these waves many times where um, the altcoins first Bitcoin goes up then it goes sideways and then the altcoins go up a lot versus Bitcoin so the altcoins have until today been some kind of um, uh, super booster eh? uh, in this bull market and 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 um, will this continue to be the case I hope so because I can't sell anything right now even though my my investment strategy is to sell the higher Bitcoin goes but the problem is okay most of my portfolio is altcoins so Bitcoin goes higher I'm forced to sell some something some crypto but I can't sell most of it because it's going down in Bitcoin value and fiat value is not going up so I like to sell um, on the way up I don't like to have to chase the price down to sell so I'm stuck with my alts for now um, and um, I don't have much Bitcoin to sell uh, so yeah I have balanced too little to, to Bitcoin too little um, too little uh, I should have gone at least 50-50, I never did that. Uh, crypto, uh, altcoins versus Bitcoin. I went to 0% Bitcoin in the beginning of 2017. But um, but um, already when market dominance of Bitcoin dropped from 80 to 60%, I thought, okay, Bitcoin is a better investment here. Uh, better investment than altcoins. But then Bitcoin uh, dominance dropped from 60 to 40. And even then I said, okay... Uh, I did sell some alts for Bitcoin, but only like one third or so. So I had about 33% uh, Bitcoin, 66% other coins. And that was not enough. I should have gone the inverse. Eh? I should have gone 60%, 66% Bitcoin, 33% altcoins. But I couldn't do it because I was too stuck in, in my thinking that Bitcoin was not uh, being led well. But um, and also I, I did not expect that after the fork that Bitcoin would actually go up in fiat value and that Bitcoin cash would struggle uh, in fiat value. So so but that's what's happening today. So um, it's of course the case that um, Network effects are very strong. Uh, like very strong. Are strong. Not very strong, but strong in uh, currencies. And, and of course, uh, you have a fork of Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, but nobody is trading any cryptocurrencies against Bitcoin Cash. Eh? Everybody continues to, to trade 
cryptocurrencies against Bitcoin. Um, uh, so Bitcoin has a lot. Um, Bitcoin keeps, even though some things forks off, Bitcoin really keeps uh, a lot of the network effect for itself. And, and the other guy that's forking needs to um, basically build it all from scratch. Eh? Even though you fork, you still have to build it from scratch. So, okay, not scratch because it's a fork. Uh, starting a new coin, that's building from scratch. Forking is like you get half of the legacy, but the other half you have to build yourself and um, good luck with that. But it's surprising how Bitcoin Core continues to be extremely stubborn and I mean, they're just giving it away. They continue to give it away by not wanting to now do Segwit 2X. Eh? Segwit 2X is basically uh, a proposal from the business, uh, the Bitcoin businesses, to do Segwit, but also to 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 increase the block size uh, two times, and only after a couple of months. Um, and now the, the Bitcoin core devs are saying no to that. That's really not smart of them, and, 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 and for me, it's okay. Eh? I have some Bitcoin Cash, so um, uh, much more Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin, so for me, it's okay they do that, but um, I think it's very unwise of them. And um, But... Um, so, so I don't think the fight is over uh, far from it, um, but... Um, yeah, it's unbelievable. Uh, they make it a little bit too easy so so I do think that um, there's a there's a future for Bitcoin cash the way it's going however there's also a risk that 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 uh, some of these guys that support segwit 2x uh, just fork off again and we have three forks eh? uh, we have done the segwit coin from the Bitcoin core guys we have then uh, the Bitcoin cash that has been f uh, forked off some time ago and then we have a new Segwit 2x coin um, that's possible and then um, and then you have three bitcoins it's it's hard to tell eh, how it will go uh, but um, yeah uh, very interesting bye Oh, and uh, how will this uh, how will this uh, pan out? I think uh, the Bitcoin bubble and the crypto bubble. So we're seeing now another uh, leg up. I think we will go to the 200 billion. Um, our, the highest odds I would give to the to the scenario where we are now in the final leg up, um, and now all bears shut up, me included. And, um, and, and, and and because, I mean, come on, how is it? It's unbelievable. Eh? It continues to go up. There is no ending to this. And um, and so so it seems that there is no ending to this. And so I think we will go to the 200 billion. Um, but I don't think we will go to, to 300 or 400 billion market cap. I don't think we will go to 6,000 US dollars Bitcoin. No, I think we are seeing the last phases here around 4,000, maybe up to 5,000, but that's it. I don't think there's more power in this bull. I could be totally wrong. Uh, but so I think after this uh, push, Bitcoin push, that uh, will likely live, I don't know, will we, re we already reach 4,000. So uh, we already went up quite a lot now. So I think we can only go up a little bit more with Bitcoin. Then I see the altcoins catching up and then we're at a market cap of uh, about 200 billion. And I think that will be it. I think then we will get a six month correction or so to 40 billion minus um, 80%. Uh, 200, 200 billion minus 80% is 40 billion. And, and then we're by, uh, about, uh, since, uh, and that, 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 that will bring us to the end of uh, 2018, uh, middle 2018 and 2018. And then um, I think um, we, we, we found the bottom and I think then we will get a, again a bull market, uh, but the biggest one ever. Uh, maybe it's all wishful thinking here, huh? but uh, the foundations are really l l being laid here to, for cryptocurrency to become yeah, a mass market uh, bubble. Uh, where, 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 where Joe Average uh, takes also um, 
um, uh, becomes also a participant. We'll see.